And some have bats in their belfry, but this church has bees in its attic. And we are talking 70,000 bees flying around this church in Boulder. Obviously, they cannot stay there. So this morning, contractors, they kind of worked their way up into that attic to try and get a hold of all those bees. <laughs> we send 7 News reporter Amanda Zitzman to Pine Street Church to check up on how that removal process is going in. Amanda, are the bees all gone? Well, right now, take a look. They're actually vacuuming all of the bees up out of there live. They have a special container to hold them, but some are loose and flying around, which I will admit is mildly terrifying. Tim Brood with Highland Bees was nice enough to go in with a cell phone to show us the hive. Take a look. Uh, these bees are very gentle uh, so far. And uh, uh, I can tell you, uh, I'm certainly very appreciative how gentle they are. So far, they've removed about 20,000 bees. We're talking a total of anywhere from 40 to 80,000. Now they're starting to remove the comb piece by piece. The comb itself could be 20 years old, but the bees didn't necessarily live there for 20 years. Maybe they died, another set of bees moved in. So, but some of that comb down there, I'm seeing it's pitch black, it's old. Yeah, these big pieces of comb give you an idea of the size of that. The comb itself is easily nice. eight feet long. So far, the rescue is going well. The bees don't seem too agitated. Pine Street Church really went the extra mile to rescue them. Once they're done here, they'll take them out to a farm and see how they do. They're hoping the queen survives. If she doesn't, they'll marry the bees into another hive. And now, take a live look at this. This is some of the comb that they're starting to bring out. You can see all of the bees there. This is one of the black combs that he's talking about, so that means it's much older. I did actually try some of the honeycomb, and I have to tell you, it's pretty good. By the way, if you're wondering, Tim tells me the largest comb he's seen is actually six times this size. Live in Boulder, Amanda Zitzman, 7 News.